Guardian Games 2022 is live right now in Destiny 2, and I am actively not participating. Not to say that I'm not playing the game, I am, but the problem is right now, I'm just sort of sitting on a giant pile of metals, waiting to bank them until a certain bug is fixed. But beyond that, personally, I see uh, Guardian Games 2022 as a bit of a fail. And uh, I don't say this just to rag on Bungie or to rag on the event. I really want to approach this video as an opportunity to provide a little bit of feedback about the gaming experience of going through Guardian Games right now this season and uh, how it feels. And hopefully, uh, with feedback from the community, we can modify it so that maybe next year's Guardian Games is a bit of a banger uh, event. And we know what it's like to have really banger events we've had several of them in the past bungie has delivered on promises before and we know that they can do it again but i have a little list here of things that i'm not really vibing with uh this time around and the first thing on that list is the obvious one we'll get it out of the way quickly uh yesterday when guardian games went live uh my intent was to dive in head first start grinding out the metals and banking these babies and trying to get some SMG drops, right? We got a new gun, the title, which uh, you're going to be seeing in the background gameplay is just me running around with the title. I've got a few hundred kills on this thing already, and I really like the SMG. It's too bad I don't have anything other than the, the one quest reward that we all have right now, this uh, a Grave Robber Vorpal Roll, which it is really good at shutting down supers, by the way. You're going to see me shut down a bunch of supers in this gameplay. Really fun SMG, but obviously... We're struggling here because I spent hours, and I mean hours, grinding Guardian games. And people kept saying, oh, yeah, I, I hear that they're dropping when you bank medals. I hear that they're dropping from the playlist. So I was just like, okay, sure, I'll, I'll play the Guardian games playlist. I'll bank medals. I'll do whatever I got to do. And not a single title SMG dropped. And then people were starting to say, well, it looks like... Um, that the, the title SMGs are going to be wrapped up in the reward packages that you get at the end of the week. You know, like, l basically time-gated rewards. I was like, yo, that friggin' sucks! So, hours later. It took them hours to address this, but eventually Bungie did uh, openly admit on Twitter that uh, there was a bug. That this wasn't intentional, that it's a bug, that the title is not dropping currently from anywhere at all anywhere at all so we don't they didn't say where they're gonna be dropping and they've yet to say anything else about it so we don't know what their time uh you know table looks like for when the bug's gonna be fixed and when the bug gets fixed where are we gonna be getting these metals is it just gonna or these smgs is it just gonna be from turning in metals or is it gonna be from you know random chance of getting them when you turn in metals on top of also have maybe random drops for completing the Guardian Games playlist activities. We don't know, we really just don't know. So we're sort of in limbo there, so I'm actively not participating because I don't wanna just throw currency away. I mean, I care about the spirit of Guardian Games and helping the Warlocks win is what I'm contributing to this time around. Um, so I want the Warlocks to win, but I'm also not banking anything because to me, the loot that I get is, maybe this is vain, I don't know, but that's more important to me. I wanna get a good title SMG more than I want Warlocks to win. So, uh, when that gets fixed, I'm going to turn them all in and hopefully get some drops. But that's obviously pain point number one, is that I have nothing to show for all of my time spent doing Guardian Games activities so far. Hours and hours and hours of investment with zero rewards to flex, to use, to interact with nothing. That's pain point number one. Pain point number two is the card economy. So right now, you can go to Ava, you buy a card with laurels. Okay, so laurels are the currency. You earn laurels by defeating powerful combatants, completing playlist activities, and defeating enemies with your abilities. And uh, you can buy these cards that will give you a predetermined reward, whether it's a, um, a gold medal or a platinum medal. So you buy the card, you complete the, the card, and then you get that medal. But here's my problem, okay? As somebody who likes to play a lot of PvP, uh, my problem is that this is 20 minutes. Okay, so I buy a card, I go into PvP, I complete two matches, and I'm done. I'm done with that card. But I can't, like, I can't buy more than one card at a time. So I, I literally am going tether into Crucible for two matches, and then back to the tower, 
then back to the crucible, then back to the tower, crucible, tower, crucible, tower, crucible. Every 20 minutes, I'm using the tower as a tether point. It's just yanking me back. I don't like spending that much time in loading screens. I don't like spending that much time in the tower. It's too much time not shooting bad guys in a video game that's all about shooting bad guys. So the, the sort of cadence there, the pace, is a miss for me. I don't like spending that much time in the tower. So only being able to hold one card at a time is a bit of a bummer. And it's not just in crucible if you're doing the the uh strikes two strikes and you're done right again 20 roughly 20 minutes of time before you're back into the tower if you're doing the i did a bunch of platinum um lost sectors and again you're doing two lost sectors and you're going right back to the tower and it was um you know the chamber of starlight which is mega freaking easy you breeze right through that legendary and master lost sector and you get that done 20 minutes you're back in the tower so that whole cadence is a miss for me. I don't like uh, interrupting my gaming experience that much. Seems It's more of an inconvenience at that point. The third thing, the third pain point I want to list is the, um, <laughs> is the preference towards PvE with this activity. So it seems really silly to me. They, they sort of tried to make a point ahead of time to, to say, play the way you want to play, get rewards. So we're not going to force you to do... I mean, they literally said that. That was their, their philosophy. Was play the way you want to play, you'll get rewards. So it was like, they're trying to tell you, you can play whatever uh, you vibe with in Destiny. No matter what you're doing out there, you're going to be helping out in Guardian games. But let me just break this down for you. If I go and I do one strike, one strike, okay, I'm going to get the laurels at the end. I'm going to get laurels for defeating powerful combatants. I'm going to get laurels with, uh, you know, whatever Demolitionist or whatever was on, where you just get basically infinite grenades. You're getting like like 200 laurels in a in a single strike. 200 laurels in a single strike. Okay, 10 minutes of time investment. I got a butt ton of laurels to show for it. I can buy a platinum card I, I, for 200. I can buy two gold cards for 100 a pop. Um, so I'm I'm in business, baby. But if I play one PVP match, do you know how many laurels you get at the end of a PVP match? 15. Friggin' 15. 200 laurels. Or 15 laurels. Those are your options. Like, that's a massive miss to me. I don't, I don't know what the, the rationale was. Did they think we were going to go out there and get 100 ability kills? <laughs> like, even if I got 100 ability kills in my PvP match, you know what I mean? I'm still getting outpaced by strikes. To put that into perspective. That's just crazy to me. It's, you may as well not even be doing PvP if you actually are trying to uh, optimize your Laurel income so that you can be buying cards and completing those. So it's just silly. At least with the PvE ones, you can, you know, in the amount of time it, it, it takes you to complete your card, you've already made your investment back. Say you spent 200 Laurels on a card that takes you into PvE activities and you're doing your legendary lost sectors, you're killing combatants with abilities, you're getting them from your powerful enemies defeated, bam, you get a bunch of laurels, and you make all those laurels back that you spent on that card. That doesn't happen in PvP. <laughs> you're gonna have to play way more PvP to make your investment up on the card that you purchased. So that is the third pain point, a complete miss for me. Number four, the fourth pain point I have with Guardian Games this time around, is the complexity of it, all right? The complexity of it. People who don't, I mean, this event comes around one time a year. It's not like we automatically remember exactly everything that we need to do, and then they're adding these new changes too. So you have to manage a bunch of stuff. You got, you've got laurels. And you're like, okay, maybe you're not overly familiar with Guardian Games. You've participated here and there, but you don't just out the gate understand everything. So now you're like, okay, well, I'm getting laurels. What do I do with these? I'm capped out. I got all 500. Um, there's nowhere where it specifically says earn laurels. Laurels are used to purchase cards. You know what I mean? So you're like, you're getting your ability kills to get your laurels, which is your currency to buy the cards. You can only hold one card at a time. Completing the cards gets you a medal. You can only hold a certain number of medals at a time. So make sure that you're getting, you're not, uh, you know, getting more than you need because they'll just go into the trash. So you're, you're, you're juggling laurels and cards and, uh, several different tiers of medals. And then on top of that, they're like, now when you turn in enough of the metals, you're also lighting torches. And you're, now, you're, now you're like, I, what, what is a torch? Where are these torches at? What are these for? You know, it's, and then they're like, yeah, and then you're going to get these buffs uh, for certain things that you do. And guard. it's like, dude, I'm just, I'm still stuck on laurels. So I've got, I've got laurels, cards, um, metals, 
of three different tiers, uh, torches and buffs, right? Did I get it? You know what I mean? It's just, it's too much. It is just too much. So yeah, the complexity for this event is just way more than it ought to be. And you would expect that if something was that complex that it would be really rewarding, which circles back to pain point number one, it's not. I got nothing to show for juggling all of this complexity right now. And uh, the final pain point that I have is with the SMG itself. Uh, I like the SMG a lot. I've been enjoying using it. But the perk pool is like mega saturated with subpar stuff. Okay. Like, I <laughs> where's, where's some of the good uh, unique perks that we've been getting these past couple of seasons? You know, I wanted to see... I wanted to see more Witch Queen perks in there. Uh, I wanted to see some, yeah, there's a, Adrenaline Junkie has been a fun thing to play with as well. There's no Adrenaline Junkie. You get Swashbuckler, I suppose, but there's no Range Finder. You know, I was like, dudes, the other 750 SMGs already in the game, like, Borrowed Time, for example, has got, got a Range Finder, and that SMG is arguably better. It's just, so why would I go through all the time and effort to get a title SMG that isn't even dropping with perks that are outclassed by some of the competitors. So I feel like they were way too timid on the SMG itself. Like, just swing for the fences one time. I'd be like, you know what, this thing's got a, bang a couple of banger perk combinations on it that are just clearly, you look at it and it just jumps right off the page. You're like, okay, yeah, that is what I want. You know what I mean? It feels like they're almost afraid to do that for some reason. There's no kill clip, no rampage. So there's nothing about it that just that makes it stand above the other things that we already have more access to. So those are my five main pain points with Guardian Games this time around. What are you thinking? How are you feeling about it? Are you feeling as frustrated as I am about it? Feels like a big miss to me. So let me know in the comments section, and uh, hopefully you get your hands on a good title SMG before the event is over. And ho hopefully you're able to enjoy participating in the uh, in the event. But all right, everybody, thanks for watching the video. Please feel free to leave a like on it if you enjoyed it, if you agree with what I'm saying, uh, and subscribe for additional Destiny 2 content. And uh, yeah, be warm and well-fed, my friends, and I hope to catch you in the Crucible.